Two Israeli hostages have been rescued after four months of captivity in Gaza. Israel says 60-year-old Fernando Marmon and 70-year-old Louis Har were being held in a residential building in Rafah in the southern Gaza Strip. Israeli forces reportedly used their own bodies to shield the men from gunfire. They're now back in Israel, said to be in good medical condition. More than 100 Israeli hostages are still being held by Hamas. Israel also conducted airstrikes in Rafah overnight. Palestinian officials say more than 100 people were killed. Hours earlier, President Biden urged Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu not to proceed with a ground operation in Rafah without a plan to protect civilians. Netanyahu spoke to ABC's Jonathan Carl. They're living in tents. Where are these people supposed to go? The areas that we've cleared north of Rafah are uh, plenty of areas there, but uh, we are working out a detailed plan to do so. And that's what we've done up to now. We're not, uh, uh, we're not cavalier about this. This is part of our war effort to get civilians out of harm's way. 1.4 million Palestinians have fled to Rafah since the war began. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.